Alright guys, so I have some pretty big news that I want to share. So, um, as you can see on my screen, here we have a dev forum article that is titled Studio Beta UI Stroke Improvements, Scaling, Offsets, and More. So, a huge update for uh, UI. The UI Stroke object or uh, element now has a plethora, a ton more uh, features. So. Let's start we have we now have the ability to scale thickness because previously you couldn't um for example if you add like a three pixel thickness um stroke once you resize your screen into a smaller screen size like a, like a tablet or a phone stroke size obviously remains the same and uh it is bloated and does not scale properly now i've already been playing with the update but uh let me give you guys a more concrete example a visual example so you can see exactly what i'm saying so let's me make a copy here is my marketplace ui right let's make this stroke right here so fixed size before the update you only have fixed size and if we go for like a five pixel stroke right and we modify it and we change our screen size you can see how it is <laughs> uh way too large right it does not scale at all all these strokes right here these strokes this thing here it looks super weird if we go absolute you can see it looks even more weird so now with the update we have the option to go for a scaled size instead uh 0 0.03 0 0.01 for example now you can see it does scale properly just like so let's go back here now we have custom border alignment so strokes can be aligned to the inside center or outside of a border and you also have the option to offset by custom amounts and now you can also layer your strokes with no limit that is perfect so in the uh, next video because i want to keep this video relatively short in the next one, I will go over, I will just basically go over the whole UI stroke and uh, how we can, you know, create certain effects and basically how we can maximize its uh, function and all of the new features that are now introduced uh, to UI stroke. Anyways, how you actually get the beta feature is you're going to go to file, beta features, simply enable improved. UI strokes. So right here, I'm gonna file beta features right there. And then uh, we're gonna go for improved UI strokes, enable, hit save, and, and you're gonna restart your studio. Once that is done, you should have the uh, new UI stroke. So if we scroll, you can see um, the elucidation here for the new update. So we have a scaled thickness border. We have position, inner, center you can see the stroke is centered <laughs> but uh we also have outer and we have border offset so we can make an inner ring without having to make a new frame and adding a stroke on top now of course you can layer you know as many strokes as you want like so which gives us the ability to create uh, more layered complex effects especially pertaining or in regards to buttons so i'm already you know thinking picturing all, this, all the stuff that we can, we can make from buttons to you know like to you know drop downs and uh, other stuff in conjunction with image assets nine slicing you know glow effects all that stuff we can create we can definitely you know start creating some uh amazing ui so and obviously UI strokes do not adhere or uh, respond to layouts. So that is something to consider, obviously. Anyways, just a quick little video um, to bring some awareness to this new update. If you guys, you know, don't really have it because it is a beta feature. If you don't look for it and if you're not, you know, purposely enabling the uh, feature, you're obviously not going to have it. Go check it out if you want to. Obviously, check out the store. 
gfxcomment.com. It is now October, so we're gonna have. So I am going to work on a Halloween icon pack, but uh, we currently have five icon packs right here: vector, currency, gifts, food, Valentine's. We have UI kits, and of course we have the academy where we currently have seven tutorials right here. As you can see, number eight is coming very soon. This will be the largest uh, collection of educational content for Roblox designing. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next one.